Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Silent Hill 2. Today we explore this strange underground prison, which is the first of a couple of levels that I don't care for. There should be a percussion sound playing right now, and in this version, for some reason, it just doesn't happen. Be sure to get those bullets. And if James would be so kind as to pick up the map, thank you. That's where we are on the map. And for whatever reason, even though the gun was equipped, when I started this session, it unequipped. I'm not sure why that's a thing. You can hear the percussion I was talking about there. On the PS2 version, it plays in that hallway. Medkit is always nice, and as you can see, there's a lighter we can pick up. But first, we do have a detour. That lighter was a source of annoyance for me when I was playing this. Huh. An enemy. I wonder what he's guarding. Hopefully it's something nice. And not a piece of hair. Hey, a med kit. That's nice. I'm good with that. There's something else. Ampule. Very nice. And there's one more item. Pick it up. Health drink. Every health item in the game. And if we come in here, we get handgun bullets. The hunting rifle, I'll show that off in a moment. Rifle and shotgun rounds. So we get every ammo type in the game as well, along with a new gun. And there's me showing off the rifle. I'm not sure how often I'm going to use it as I am saving it for the final boss. This was annoying because I tried this before and that enemy did not spawn there. I'll have to figure that out because I do want to show it off. I know I have plenty of ammo, but I also don't want to run out when fighting the final boss. But I'm sure I'll use it against a couple of baddies just to show it off. I could probably start breaking out the shotgun now. Retire the pistol. I know I'm going to need that in the final area, though, to deal with the enemies in there. But outside of the final area, I'm not sure how many more enemies we get in this game. So there may not be many opportunities to use either gun. So here is the lighter. Be sure to grab that. I tried recording this before and did everything I needed to do in this section up until I needed to use the lighter and realized I didn't have it and wandered around forever trying to figure out where the hell it was forgetting that you could see it in that room where you pick up the med kit and it turns out it wasn't that big of a deal I could have kept recording because it's on the way to where we will need to go once we are done in this area I feel like they should have reskinned these things and made them prisoners instead of what I assume are mental patients. I'm not sure on that. Straight jacket monsters anyways. I don't like that camera angle when an enemy is approaching. Fortunately this time it didn't get me. In my original playthrough it did. So we picked up one of those tablets in the last video. Now we got another one. Now it's time to get the final one. But there are a few other things we will have to pick up. And I don't like this camera angle, this top down view. Creepy sounds. It sounds like that thing is saying ritual, but I'm not sure. Be sure to get that wax doll. I will show on the map where we are in a sec. I just want to pick up some ammo. I feel like these sounds were louder in the PS2 version.
That sounds unpleasant, so let's not stick around in there. Speaking of unpleasant, well, there's some handgun bullets, which is nice. We've got a couple of enemies in here. However, there is something very nice in here. Not this vomit monster, asshole. Out of my face. Rifle bullets. So I do have enough rifle ammo to use against something. The next boss we come across, I'm not sure what gun I want to use against it. The shotgun or rifle. I don't think we will be running out of handgun bullets though. Probably not shotgun either. So this was annoying. I was trying to step on the enemy. I couldn't see that the enemy was right there in front of me and took a hit because of this annoying top-down view. Plus it being really dark. I took a hit when crossing that grating a couple of videos back, so I figured might as well just use a health drink there. Took a couple hits. I have plenty. Not a big deal. But the combination of this camera angle and the environment being so dark does not work well. Unlock that. Now I need to find the cell that we go in for the final tablet. And that's where we are on the map. And I'm just showing off these items. I have been better at showing off the items in the inventory than I usually am in most games. Something I forgot to talk about in a few of the previous videos. If you remember in video 5, I think it was, in the hospital, Maria coming down with an illness. You notice she looks like Mary. She talks like Mary. And now she's sick. She said it was a hangover, but hangovers don't lead to acting like you're sick. At least not like that. Usually I just have a bad headache. But she was clearly ill. Here's another room that's way too dark. It's not too bad, but... My first time coming through here, I did have some trouble figuring out where this thing was. So here's a better example of the combination system in this game. We will do this another time in a few minutes. But you combine all three, put them in, and you get a loud scream. Looking back at my old video of this, I actually had some pretty decent reactions to some of the stuff that happened. I really wish I wasn't so lazy and would take the time to make a best of compilation of that old LP. So pick that up. I think they set that up so you have to pick it up before going through the door, which is pretty nice. So if you did not pick up the lighter, you're still okay. I didn't realize that when I tried recording this before and missed the lighter. Because you can see where we are going back to now. It's on the way. And something else I read online when trying to find the lighter. I never knew there was a save point in here. Unless back in 2001 when I was playing this, I found it. But since then, I definitely did not know that was there. I didn't see it on my original playthrough. So again, we have to combine these items. I guess the idea is that we're going to use the wax doll, melt it with the lighter, 
and somehow attach this horseshoe to it to make a handle. Bit strange, but okay. And I didn't even mention the horse hoof sound effects that were in that area with that. I don't even want to call it a puzzle. I'm actually really surprised with those tablets that that wasn't a puzzle. Sure, let's jump down. Nothing bad can ever happen from jumping down holes. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here. So I just head for the exit. And even if there is something in there, it's not like I don't have plenty of items. I probably don't need to pick up any more health items or shotgun or pistol bullets. I will, but I probably don't need to. This sound playing in the background was a lot louder on the PS2 version. And it's very unnerving and creepy. And I had a pretty good reaction to that in my original playthrough. I'm really not a reaction guy. I don't give good reactions to stuff, but... I had three or four in this original playthrough. Which is subsequently being deleted as I post these videos. I feel like there's more hole jumping later on, but I could be wrong. So go ahead and start this elevator. All you have to do is walk in a certain distance and it'll start. It's going to take a while. There are four items you can pick up in each corner of this elevator. You have time to do that while the elevator is moving. And again, I could fast forward this, but I want to give you the true game experience. So I'm not going to do that. So I hope everything is going well in your world. Halloween is upon us. Or it will be by the time this video is posted. Which should be early October, I'm not sure. Early to mid-October. It's still September as I record this. I tried to have him do a little dance here just because I was bored. Oh yeah, there is a strafe option in this game. I don't know what you would use that for, but it is there. I don't know if he has the jump back that Harry has. Save your game there. Come in here. Take a left. Take a left around that dude, a right. And I think you can go down either of these two and they will lead to the same place. It's a big circle, basically. But I took the right path, so head down. I think I'm actually going to go up the opposite ladder. And another fan. We saw a big fan in Silent Hill 1. There is one that's pretty prominent in Silent Hill 3. And we get one there. And we get ammo and a great knife, which I will try to show off next video. I'm not sure when I will have an opportunity to use it, unless I go out of my way. The enemies that throw up on you are really the best ones to use it against. That and nurses, but I don't know if we see nurses. Be careful in here because Pyramid Head is in here. He's not an instant kill at least, but he's still annoying. So now we need to backtrack. And as you can see, I came out the opposite ladder. I'm guessing on harder difficulties, these things are more aggressive. But I don't feel like that's the point of this game. I feel like the point is more story and atmosphere. I don't think I've showed that before, but these things can skitter away if you don't stomp on them right away. Although that one didn't make the sound they usually make. Oh, this puzzle. I'm not going to show exactly the solution for it because it took me a while. I will show the position you need to have this thing in 
And a little bit of my fiddling. I think you need to have the face with the green eyes turned upside down, if I remember correctly. But it took me a while to find, and I have some color blindness, and I have trouble seeing the colors of the eyes. You're alive! Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and James, then- James, what are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I... don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. Not the best voice acting for James there, but that's all right. That is a strange moment there. At times she seems to be channeling Maria. At times she seems to be channeling Mary, but she also seems like a completely different character. So I'm not sure what the dealio is with that. It's definitely not the same Maria that we met. Be sure to grab that. And let's get out of here. So I will show this in a sec, but there are these wires that we need a wire cutters for. Keep in mind, we have Angela's knife. I assume that would cut those, maybe not, but I assume they would. I don't know, I don't know tools. I think if I use the great knife, it would be against these dudes, which would be kind of wrong because they're not doing anything to me. They just kind of stand there and growl a little bit. So you might have seen this area briefly when we came in here. I don't know if a knife would cut this or not, but it seems like it would. So we will explore that next time. For now, I'm going to go save that game. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all next time with more. Silent Hill 2.